Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Wanted to bring you guys something to do during this um, kind of a scary time that we're all having right now. Um, so I'm going to try and brighten your days. I'm going to try and take your mind off of everything. I'm not going to sit here and make everyone scared or depressed or anything like that. I am here to paint with you. So we're going to make a ladybug and it's going to be glossy and it's going to be shiny. This stone of mine is about four and a half inches and uh, choose a couple of shades of red and grab your black paint. Of course, we're going to add some glitter and gold. Um, but uh, yeah, this is going to be a fun one, guys. I am here for you. I in no way um, want to panic or go onto the internet and see nothing but panic. Um, so like for me, this is going to be therapeutic in a lot of ways. So my boys are downstairs watching some Netflix. I'm up here hoping that my cats don't disturb this tutorial too much so we can enjoy this beautiful painting moment together. <laughs> so I'm basically doing the front part of my ladybug all in black. Um, so you can see it doesn't matter what color your stone is you can paint your whole stone black if you want to um, But I'm just painting the top cap here black because I'm just gonna keep the rest of it um, Well, you're gonna see what I do with the rest of it. I don't really need to paint the rest of it black, but um, We're gonna be using lots of red so first this might not make sense but we're gonna make like a little jewel on the body of our ladybug um, so if you've seen my jewel stones, uh, my tutorial already, then you're familiar with how to do a jewel. Um, it's even very similar to my jellyfly, the body on my jellyflies. Um, I've done it a few times throughout. Sometimes it even is like uh, doing a water droplet. It's kind of similar. You just kind of kind of shade it a certain way. So I am going to do... I probably should have done a white base coat underneath this jewel um, but I'm doing a couple of layers of this berry wine color and and then I'm gonna blend it out so I'm gonna use sponges you guys have seen these before Martha Stewart sponges uh, they are listed in the description of this video for you because I love y'all you know that I was gonna sing for you guys like maybe I should just sing and paint and, but yeah, I'd probably lose some subscribers. <laughs> so I am going to just narrate and I might once in a while have a little sing to my, my voice. <laughs> I love to sing. What else do you guys do that's artistic? Are you piano players? Are you dancers? Uh, do you sing? I have been singing my whole life. Um, Self-taught, of course, no lessons just like everything else I do. And uh, I taught myself how to play guitar. I started off using a tiny little keyboard, never had anything very big. <laughs> but um, yeah, self-taught on everything. I just, I just wanted to make music. I just wanted to sing. And it got me through a lot of rough times. So I feel lucky that not only can I pick up my guitar, but my son can play a piano beside me and uh, and I can paint and there's all these different things that I can utilize over the next few weeks to gain some therapeutic sessions I guess <laughs> so I'm doing this you don't have to do this to the body of your ladybug but when you visit Rachel's Rocks Canada we do things a little fancy here <laughs> So, of course, there's going to be jewels, there's going to be glitter, there's going to be gold, and it's going to look absolutely dazzling when it's done. So, um, that's one thing that I can promise you guys. I'm not going to do a silly drum roll for this one, but I might do some oohs and ahs. <laughs> uh, if you have seen my uh, glittering scarabs, or I call them glitter bugs or scarabs, um, those have been very popular lately. A lot of you want some little bugs in your life, little fancy scarabs. Um, so this one is like a large version, only a little different. It's more of a ladybug, but there's a jewel on its body and it's still going to have some red wings. 
and it's just going to be beautiful. So yeah, we'll get into it all very quickly. Well, not too quickly. I don't want to speed this up too much so that you guys can't see what I'm doing. So I know it's strange. I know it's very strange that I just did that whole body and I'm just painting right over top of it. But I really need to see that jewel there as a whole first before I add my wings in because it's just not the blending part, making it look like a jewel underneath those wings. Uh, I find it easier to just do the whole jewel first and then work with the wings on top of that. Um, but that's optional. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. You can take different steps. You can take shortcuts. Um, that's what's fun about this. You're just seeing what I've done. You get to do whatever the heck you want. So I'm going to put a couple of coats. I did use a paintbrush at first, but I'm going to use a sponge to put a couple of coats. See, we put a little shine on that jewel. See that? You see that magic? It's going to look really cool after. But anyway, I am now using a sponge because sponges tend to cover a little bit better. I don't know if you're familiar with doing your makeup. I am not. I was thinking about starting a channel where I teach myself how to do makeup. As an artist, I should know how to do my makeup, but I don't. I'm terrible with my face. Terrible. I just would rather not put anything on it at all and wear sunglasses and a hoodie. <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, if you're familiar with blending on your face with, with uh, blending sponges or what have you, brushes, this is very similar. It makes it cover a little bit better. It covers it nicely. There's a nice texture to it. Um, it's all smooth and soft, kind of like airbrush. So there you go. That's why I use sponges. So I have done a couple of coats of the dark red, which is like a dark berry wine from Folk Art paints will be listed in description um, and now I'm adding a lighter red which is more like an apple red and I'm blending that just not all the way to the edges I want to keep the edges of my area dark I want to see that berry wine but I'm just going in almost to the edge with this apple color I'm just kind of lightening up and giving some depth to these gorgeous wings okay now, I know you can probably see a ridge uh, where my jewel is sitting underneath my wing, and that's okay. Once I resin this, there won't be a ridge there, um, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, or, or at least I hope. We'll see. We'll see. So I'm keeping the dark berry wine to the outs, all of the outer parts of each wing separately, and I'm lightening the inside a little bit. It's just to create some depth, like I said. You don't. Ha you can just paint it pure red and leave it at that and say, Rachel, why do you bother with all of these steps? Or you can do what I'm doing and see if you like it a little bit more. You try, you decide. It's all about what you want on your rock. Um, and you don't have to use a rock. You can paint this on, on a canvas. Um, just do the shape that I have here of a rock and, and look at it like you're looking down on a canvas. Um, you definitely just need to get creative during this time and, and use what you got. If you got like a potato that's not looking so great and you don't want to feed it to your family, uh, paint it. <laughs> paint it, guys. Why Why not? Um, if you're running out of stones or or you just aren't sure what to paint, I'm telling you painting is very therapeutic. I'm not... I'm not trying to toot my own horn, <laughs> um, but I honestly have gotten through a lot of stressful times over the last few years. Um, yeah, like even even losing a baby. So it, it's gotten me through a lot of, of rough times. So I'm hoping that I'm able to kind of give you guys, you know, some comedic relief, of course, I'm here all week, and um, some artistic inspiration. Give yourself some time to sit down with the kids and and paint something pretty. I have lots of tutorials, so, you know, it, it's going to be something that you guys have, I, I've given you lots of options. There you go. There's some hard stuff and there's some easy stuff. Challenge yourself. Challenge your friends. 
don't get together, but, you know, chat with each other on the phone while you're painting, watching my tutorial. Have some wine. Get your kids painting. Um, I just find it very therapeutic and there's no going wrong with it. There's just, there's no going wrong with creating something artistic. So what I've done here is I've left the natural stone for the back end of my bug and I have put a couple of stripes of gold. I've also outlined my red wings in black. Make sure there's a nice big thick black line there to separate the wings from the jewel. I'm, I underlined my gold stripes at the butt of my bug with black as well just to kind of define them there but when I when I resin this the rock is going to go very very dark so it's just going to pretty much look black there but you'll see at the very end you can kind of see some of the grain in the stone um, I'm also lining my upper part here separating my wings from the head in gold you know me and I'm thinning it out cleaning it up making sure it's not too thick we are gonna put some gold along the wings, of course, but make sure you keep your black line visible. Um, just kind of make a thin gold line at the edge of the wing, because our my bugs are always fancy. Whether it's a moth or a butterfly or a ladybug or a scarab, um, they gotta be fancy. They just have to be fancy. I can't help it. <laughs> A lot of people don't like bugs, but if you make them fancy, they're like beautiful. They look like little brooches that you can pin to your sweater, but they're very heavy. This one is very heavy. It's, it's a large one. <laughs> I do not recommend pinning it to your sweater. I'm going to be putting some stuff into my shop too. Uh, you guys want to take a look at some of my stuff that I've been working on, giving myself some therapeutic moments. <laughs> especially with last week my son was homesick with a horrible fever and a horrible cough he was off all week I wasn't gonna send him to school there was no way then he went back to school for a week and now he's off for three. <laughs> oh, the joys maybe by the time he goes back to school I won't have to keep dressing him up in a snowsuit let's look at the positive side of things guys maybe I can put away the snowsuit. <laughs> so now that my red paint is dry and I've outlined everything in gold where I wanted to, I am adding a little bit of nail shine, some chrome nail powder. It's in a red color. I will list where I got mine on Amazon. Um, Lord, I hope paint does not go out of style like toilet paper, guys. <laughs> Please, Lord, let there be paint. I will list all of these nail glitters. There's like seven different shades that come in the package and I've had mine for years, so they uh, last forever. I will be putting a clear coat uh, over top of that glitter to hold it in place, but right now I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, bling, I guess, to the bottom part of the jewel so it looks like there's like something kind of holding the jewel onto the body of the ladybug. You can do whatever you want here. I'm just doing some gold dots. And then I'm gonna put, um, eh, you'll see. I'll be putting black dots over top of those once they're a little bit dry. Now here's the glaze I was talking about that I'm gonna put over top of the wings to hold that red fine 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 glitter it's almost like an eyeshadow it's just very high high pigmented powder it's a dust that people use on nails for in a nail salon um, and it gives it like a chrome a chrome look to nails but to this it just gives it a really cool effect I don't even know how to explain it but if you've used it explain how it looks in the comments for people who haven't tried it yet. It just gives it a whole different oomph. It gives it a whole different level of, of wow. There you go. <laughs> whole different level of wow. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of white patches on our, our ladybug. I, I just kind of looked up ladybugs uh, on Google and looked at their faces and I'm just gonna try and do something simple 
um, that resembles ladybugs' faces. <laughs> but please remember, this is not a realistic ladybug. If you ever see one like this, it lands on your arm while you're outside eating watermelon, please take a photo and send it to me <laughs> because I'm pretty sure I can get them for copyright infringement. <laughs> I think, but we'll see. If you find one, please send it. <laughs> Only photos, don't, don't hurt it, don't send it to me through the mail. Only photos if you see a ladybug that looks just like this one. This is a, a fantasy bug. <laughs> Rachel's Rocks Fantasy Bugs The things that come from my mind <laughs> So yeah, I'm, I don't even know where the eyes are I don't know if that's nostrils I'm just looking at pictures of ladybugs And doing my best with uh, something simple for you guys to follow So yeah, and I'm going to also outline All of these little white patches with gold and I'm going to do a couple layers of the white because I can see through it once it dries. So you might need to do a couple of layers, a couple of coats of the white as well. Just a little hint. White does not cover black as well as you'd want it to. <laughs> and there's my gold outline, always with the gold. Whoops made a little mess it's nice because I, I did make a little mess on the wing and it wiped right off because of the glaze that I put on it thank goodness the glaze was dry we will be adding black uh, spots to our our wings after as well so thank you for subscribing see I said I wouldn't sing I might sing a little bit <laughs> I have almost 48 thousand subscribers and I am dying over here just thrilled to have you a part of my rock family and um, I I just want to tell you if you haven't hit the subscribe button please do so you don't miss out I'm gonna try and get some fun stuff out over the next few weeks for all you families that are at home with the kiddos or even just not at home with any kids and you're bored as heck so um, I want to try and get some fun stuff out there. Give me your suggestions. I'm writing them all down. I promise you I'm writing them down. I'm going to be doing a flamingo. There's a few of you out there who've been asking me for flamingos. So I promise you I'm working on a flamingo. I promise. So I'm using sponges. Once again, these Martha Stewart sponges really come in handy if you're making ladybugs because <laughs> I'm using all different sizes of these sponges to make nice circles on the the wings. They're perfect. I just make sure I try and get them in the same spots on each wing. It's super easy. Don't have too much paint on your sponge when you do it or else it's just gonna like flood out the sides and it bleeds out and it doesn't look like a circle anymore. So be careful of how much you put on. Dab some of it off on your paint tray before you transfer it over to here oh my goodness you guys this is my favorite part Ooh, look at that what do you think of that if you if you saw that in a garden somewhere you would probably steal it don't you lie don't you lie <laughs> i love you guys hit the subscribe button paint with me over the next few weeks i promise i will try not to get them too far and in between before i put another one up I love you. You know I do. Thank you. Let's all stick together and get through this together, guys. Love you.